What's up, guys? Welcome back to Source Fed Nerd with your daily edition of Table Talk, where we talk about your questions, your topics, whether you did it on Twitter with the hashtag Table Talk, did it on Facebook now, or reddit.com slash r slash source fed. My name is Philip DeFranco. I'm Meg Turney. And I'm Trish Archberger. Who wants it? Oh, I like that. Hey, do you want to vote first? We can, like, wishbone it. Okay. Also, yes, I'm from the future. Yeah. And or a a huge tool. And or Egon Spangler. And or a glass hole. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. At Zarana420 says, what is the nicest thing you have tried to do for someone that backfired? Hashtag table talk. That's a terrible topic. I once tried to give a rock freedom, uh, and that just blew up in my face. Rude. Did, so what'd you rude. Break? Um, the country, uh, as well as part of Afghanistan. And what? I don't know what I'm doing. I think anyway. I'm, <laughs> break. I'm like, do you mean, do you think he meant a physical Yeah. Rock? No, he meant the country Iraq. Oh, I, I thought, thought you gave a, Iraq freedom. Was, like you threw it I, into I the being, ocean or something George and freed Bush. it? I was being George Yeah, Bush no, uh, we were there. You we had like <laughs> an amazing mental picture of him being like, be free. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> where my head was. I should, sorry, I should have said Iraq. No, Iraq. Iraq. he was giving a rock freedom. <laughs> that's where I was. With that's that. actually that's what George Bush meant, and this has all been a horrible <laughs> misunderstanding. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to think. What, what, I'm trying to think because uh, I don't do nice things for people. No, <laughs> I, I just don't know. The last time it like backfired. I mean, I don't know. I, that's a it's a weird topic. I feel like something that was benign that I once said about someone that backfired was in in school we had to go around and d- describe everyone with an adjective, mm-hmm. and I called a girl shy, and she hated me for the rest of high school because of it because she thought shy was like mean, like I was being a bitch by calling her shy. I You're had shy. I had something like that in an acting class. We were supposed to write down like words and adjectives that describe the person on stage to help them better understand their type. And this one girl was so beautiful and tall and thin and graceful. And I wrote giraffe because to me that's a tall, beautiful, thin, graceful animal. And I've always been short and I've always wanted to be tall. And I was super jealous of this girl. And she thought it was like a huge insult because I guess, I don't know, do tall people get called giraffes in like a mocking way? I just think a giraffe is like a little bit like they're disproportionate. So, like, like they have a body down here, but then they have a huge neck. Like, they're kind of awkward looking. So. Oh, yeah. No, I was like, she's so tall and beautiful. Like, a majestic giraffe is where I was going with it. And she 100% thought it was an insult. And later, I totally flipped my mouth because I came up and I was like, I just... Because she talked about, someone wrote giraffe, and I was like, and she was all mad, and I was like, I just want you to know that was me that wrote giraffe, and I, I'm really mad in a good way, I didn't, uh, <laughs> I tried that too, I tried to be like, I'm in shy because you're really quiet, you never right. answer stuff, I'm really, <laughs> she literally held this grudge against me, she dressed up as me for Halloween one year to like mock me, and like, her and this other girl, ooh, Jesslyn and Rachel, I can't remember, Rachel something. Y'all were bitches. <laughs> Phil, have you ever Boom. dressed up like someone to try to mock them? No. What? <laughs> That's, That's the high school I went to. It was all aim away messages and live journals and dressing <laughs> the up The most people. passive aggressive school. Oh, yeah. On, on the oh, yeah. Full of bitches. <laughs> what about you? Did you ever try to say something nice to someone and then they took it shitty? No. Really? No, no. I guess you gotta say something nice first. Fuck, I'm just trying to, right? <laughs> hey, why'd you go straight for the nip? I did. I <laughs> just went <laughs> pink and I was like, Tweak? It was like a touch, like ah ha, ha Next time I'm gonna be like, blah, blah. but I also like that Phil's <laughs> tweak. That, is that your your play? <laughs> <laughs> right on the booby. I also like that your tweak the nipple noise was bink. <laughs> bink. <laughs> well, what other noise would it be? I, oh, I don't. Yeah, I don't know what other noise it would be. Like. Auga. No, that's not. <laughs> yeah, that's one, one of these. I, I was know, actually but we just made a completely yeah. different. Yeah. No, <laughs> that's a completely <laughs> different noise. <laughs> Mark T. Finnegan says. What do you think happens to us after we die? Do you think it goes black or something else? Oh, yay, we get to all be different. This is uh, an interesting one. I think it all goes black. Do you, do you think there's just nothingness? I think it's either nothingness or, because I mean, right, energy's all around us. Before I existed, maybe I was energy somewhere, like parts of me were energy, whatever, but I never had consciousness. So yeah, I think for me, it goes black. Um, there was this really interesting thread on Reddit about people who have died and come back. Mm-hmm. 
and um, some people said they had like these beautiful experiences. I saw my family members, I did this, I did that. Other people said there was absolute nothingness and it was terrifying. They weren't like comforted by the nothingness. It was just absolutely terrifying. For me, uh, when you die, your body flood, your, your brain floods your body with um, like DMT, like the mm. chemical that makes you dream. So for me, I think when people die and they come back and say like, I saw my family, I, saw, I think it's just a dream that they're basically having. And I think you get, it's kind of like Vanilla Sky, like you get stuck in that. I think it's probably just something you think you're in this dream and then it's it's nothingness, but mm -hmm. you don't really know the transition when that happens. And then what do you think happens after that? That's what I mean. I think it's just nothing after that, but I don't think you're aware of it being nothing. So, right. You know yeah. what I mean? We like, have no reincarnation me. people. Um, yeah, I'd love for it. I'd I think love that. That'd be awesome. that, that seems like the best outcome. Because yeah. <laughs> the heaven idea just sounds like it gets boring. Like, I right. don't understand how it doesn't, yeah, like, you're just there, like, the idea of eternity being there forever is, I guess, like, I guess I feel like that would get old. I love the idea of coming back and getting to have another go of right. it. Or being, you know, we're all stardust, technically, so, like, being something else, coming back, being a little, a little bit of a flower, something Maybe like that. Maybe a tree. A little bit of a flower. Yeah. Just a little bit of a flower, not a whole flower. No. You're like the one what about you, petal. Sasha? Um, I, first of all, let me preface this by saying I have no idea. Don't profess to know, but if my best hypothesis um, would be that I think that everyone goes straight to purgatory. Mm. Um, Ooh, super so even if you're good, you're yeah, super good, think, you go to purgatory? I think everybody does because there's not one person that's super good enough their whole life to say they never did anything wrong. But what uh, if you've repented? Like if you've confessed your sins or whatever to the point when you die. Are you forgiven when you confess your stuff? You're uh, forgiven? Yeah, that's an interesting thing. I don't know. I still think everybody's got stuff that they did that's somewhere in there. And I think you go to purgatory and you... you Work your time off, and then you can go to Wait, heaven is that because what happens, you're good. What happens? Like you work. You said you work your time off. What does that mean? That's just my thought. No, I just don't. It, I don't know what you mean by that. Yeah, so it's like if you, you know, you spend your time repenting or whatever okay. until you're uh, until you're good to go, and then you can get in. But I also am kind of controversial, I guess, in the Catholic mindset that I I like to believe there is no hell. Mm. I think everyone goes to purgatory and gets the option to work it off, and okay. you know, like granted, you may be there a much longer time than the person next to you. Okay. Um, and of course, it's not that cut and dry. There's not like actual bodies of people, I don't think. Um, but it's some kind of spiritual cleansing or something like that. And then, you know, once you've gotten to the point where you say, hey, heaven is something I want, then you're good. But there's a lot of people that don't want that. Right. So maybe you have to be in this kind of in-between huh. place that some people call purgatory, some people call it limbo, whatever your belief system is, that... There's some place you go to kind of figure it out, and then you can either transcend to somewhere else or not. Hmm. I'm just, I don't know. I, my, my, I guess my main problem with it <laughs> is like, right, so this is the real world. We're dealing with the nitty gritty, and then we die, and then we're going through essentially what sounds like social services and or prison for heaven. <laughs> it doesn't make any <laughs> sense. Like, like, we still have, like, all the same boring shit, and then, I don't know. But well, heaven could, is supposed to be, be, and some people believe that, Right where we are right now, the working through the nitty gritty, as you say, it's some purgatory. people believe that's purgatory. Yeah. That's this in between limbo right. state. Oh, only I could hear that. Never mind. Uh, uh, I, oh, I, 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 ran, I ran the battery down and it was like, <laughs> and no one reacted to it. And I was like, this I'm having a stroke. No, oh, it's just the, <laughs> the Google earth glass. is hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just I think it's fascinating everyone's different theories about the earth is hell or the earth is purgatory or, you know, there is nothing beyond or there is something beyond or there's nothing beyond. So we just just keep coming back here over and over, or uh, it, well, it's all fascinating to me. God I also is like, a seahorse. Well, That's all we know. I also really like <laughs> the I'm idea. I'm just saying, human man can't give birth, so God has to be a seahorse. Rules. Sign. Well, okay. I mean, I guess. <laughs> maybe. I'm joking. Uh, obviously, I don't, obviously no. I don't believe in God, but uh, if there a was theory. a God. He's a, he's a theory. We're the seahorses. Theory. God is either a seahorse or a, uh, I'm not going to use, never mind. I'm okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, no, but I like I don't want Trisha to stab me later. No. Oh, oh, only, a only a little. Only uh, a little. No, but I like the idea, I, I also really like the idea of you come back as what you were in your life. So, like, if you were shitty in your life, then you come back yeah. as something shitty. And if you were good in your life, you come back as something sweet. That would be awesome. Yeah. I like heard a crow is one of the worst things you can come back as. I don't remember. I remember reading, I think it's Chinese theory. I don't know. Something. There's all different about faith it. systems about, like, what yeah. are the better animals or the worst animals. Animals yeah. to come back as. It, it fascinates me. I love it Which all. Which animal would you gonna come back as? A, a puppy. puppy. Ah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Both of you went puppy? <laughs> yes! What well, are you gonna come back as? A capuchin, a capuchin monkey? monkey? <laughs> Obviously. Obviously. I'm gonna play the symbols and wear that little vest all day long. Yay, servitude. What's your favorite video game romance? 
romance. Ooh. What's the best Are way to you gonna go? Oh wait, are we reacting? Oh, to we're not to doing video game romance. romance? Are you gonna pick Yuna? <laughs> I'm just fucking Yuna? everything again. I know you are. I know it's going over there. You do this. I grind so hard. <laughs> Video game romance, that's interesting. I don't wanna, yeah, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I would 100% go. Oh, Titus and Yuna. Titus. Everyone told me it's pronounced Titus, not Titus. And Titus. I, in my head, it's Titus, still. Um, I don't care. It's oh like GIF God. and GIF, I don't care. My brain's done. Uh, Cloud and, uh, uh, no one's gonna finish it. Aerith? Aerith? Is, <laughs> is that, that what her name was? We talking about seven? Cloud and girl who dies. It's, it's, it's <laughs> with the hair that goes like this. Goes up and she has a basket. She wears a pink dress and a red. Yes. I know the cosplay costume, but I don't know. Trying to go back and play that game is hard. Really? Because it's it's so, like, blocky looking. Like, if mm. anything needs an HD remake, it's Final Fantasy VII. So you can, like, fully, fully appreciate it. Uh, but, like, that's one of the moments in, like, video games where I was, like, so pissed off. Like, mm. I was just, like, I lost my shit. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, like, when, whenever you search, like... Can you Final Fantasy VII? And it would be like, bring this girl back, like save her. Um, and it was like, it's what sets up like it's one of the reasons that's the the best game ever. She's a fully like you can max her out like any other character, and then she's gone. Yeah, what's? How what's do you pronounce Aerith her name? Or Aeris. I think yeah. it's Aeris. Uh, that's what I I always think of those games. I can see read them so much in those games. I always think of the names as text, which mm. is why I'm like, it'll always be Titus to me. I don't care if it's really pronounced Titus because I read it. Right. As and Titus. It was in your head. In my head. Um, I'm going to go the funny route and pick Leon Scott Kennedy from Resident Evil and Hunnigan, who he tries to get with all the time, <laughs> and she never having it. She's not having she's it. She's not having it's it. It's a sad romance. It is, but it'll, it, I mean, he's, he's. Foxy. I don't know if that's called a romance. It's, it's hey. a one sided romance. Unrequited love. Romance. Because you could say then that there is romance between you and a certain person on Twitter. I mean, I Ooh, well, <laughs> that's, that's dangerous territory. That's not romance. It's dangerous territory. I mean, what about like Link and Zelda? He's always fighting for her. What about him. Mario and Peach? I don't know if I feel their romance is real. She, bitch is she's always, always running pictures. away. She always running away. I feel like she's in on it. So maybe then it's Zelda. She's, she's, she's actually she's running off Bowser. With, she's, I know. She's Zelda running off with her loves. abusive boyfriend. <laughs> and, then, and then Mario, the good guy, comes and saves her. And then that lasts for like three months. And then she's like, oh no, I've been kidnapped. And yeah, I feel like sure Zelda's probably the same way. Ganondorf and He's going to hit you oh again. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Jim Heldian from Reddit says, who would you rather have? Someone who would die for you or someone who would kill for you? Um, someone who would kill for me. Absolutely, 100% kill. I don't need someone to die, then you're gone. Yeah. Great, great Oof. trick you did thanks, once. Thanks. I don't know yeah, how I feel about this. Thanks for the vest that was your body. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm defenseless. Like, what if they have another gun? I see bad sides to both of these, and I don't like the way either of them play out. Are we talking about, if we're talking about, like, regular, everyday world, that's a little weird on both sides. Yeah, but that's like, what I'm like. I'm picturing, oh, totally. I'm like, zombie apocalypse. Bitch, pull out an AK and shoot some bitches. Well, this? you yeah. gotta stay with In that situation, yes, because then everybody's saved, and that's great. But if it's like normal every day, like, that guy looked at you wrong, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> Well, not he's, cool. No, that's, no. that's crazy boyfriend yeah. mentality that you just jumped to. Um, that's what I think when I'm like, would you rather have someone that'll kill for you? I'm like, oh no. I'd but throw both. Okay, yeah, go Whoa. ahead. Whoa. Karate chop. <laughs> I'd throw both out the window and say, as long as someone would lie to the police for me, I'm good. <laughs> you don't need to kill anyone. That sounds like, that's a whole. I was here what the is whole with time. the nipple? Oh, it's the <laughs> nipple. I literally have to it here. I don't, I don't Be, have big nipples. You have 15 nipples if right here is like, <laughs> what are you doing with <laughs> nipples? He was over here! Can we get an instant replay over here? <laughs> it's a really He's so sad violated. Time. Good He's lord! Really violated. I feel like you're getting... What if, what if I actually had like giant nipples? That'd be the weirdest thing. What if you really have had like 16 nipples? Have you ever seen it? Sorry, I know this is Is tangent. that your way of confessing to the world that you have giant nipples? No, I have like. <laughs> How large are your nipples on this tabletop? <laughs> no, I've That's seen them. Really well. I call them dinner plate nipples, like right. the big old fatty. It's like nipples. a saucer. Yeah. Well, yeah, because if you look, yeah, if you look at portion sizes back in the day, that's actually. Right now, saucer is like, mm -hmm. but um, uh, but uh, so yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Have you ever seen? I need to know this. Have you ever seen a man with big nipples? I've seen it. Oh, this is a They're gross way. Big. This is a gross way to describe. It. I've seen They're a man big. with beefy nipples. Is that a thing? What is beefy nipples? <laughs> I feel like that's like, a thing girls would talk about that like doesn't beefy? usually go yeah, up. Yeah, like they're like it's like the guys who are overweight have like you know fatty. Oh, for real? Girls? Yes. 
like for real like, that's a thing i'm not don't put me on the spot like you don't know it's a thing no i'm I not saying i don't thing. know it's a thing it's a thing, thing. It's a thing. that i don't want to talk gonna... about <laughs> dated some big yeah. i dated a big boy Before. i dated i dated some big boys did they have beefy nipples beefy nipples <laughs> So gross. I feel like I can't eat lunch now after saying that phrase. Well, I'm just intrigued, right? Because I, I've I've seen ladies with with large Nipples. areolas, uh-huh. yes. right? Way to use the, the good right. One. I was like areolas, and then I was like, don't say something that's in a vagina. Don't say something that's in a vagina. <laughs> large <laughs> areolas. <laughs> no large areolas. Uh, <laughs> What was the question? Uh, <laughs> Dying or killing? I said, <laughs> went to the I lied to the police. I was going to follow that up with like, I was here the whole time. Tom, and, and now my hand nipples. is over here. I was Get here the whole time. And then you said your nipples were the size of saucers. And then said we that. moved to beefy nipples. This no. is how this happened. No, I think if you follow my Instagram, you've seen my nipples before. They're not big <laughs> or beefy. And that's an incentive to follow Phil's Instagram. <laughs> hey, if you want to see my nipples and my dogs... That's a thing. Hey, well, guys, guess what? That's Table Talk. Thanks so much for sending in your topics. Uh, don't forget to send them in using the hashtag Table Talk R slash Source I'm Meg Turney. I'm Philip DeFranco. I'm Trish Hershberg. And if you follow my Instagram, you will not see my nipples. Rude. Rude. But they're not beefy. I still think you're making that up. What the fuck no, is like, beefy nipples? I don't, I don't like it. Oh, like, it's a beefy dude that has. Right. It's like almost like part of man nipples. nipples. But they're not like. I don't know. Like they're like they're. Oh, they have their own weight. <laughs> That's a thing. <laughs> they have their own weight.